Hey everybody, um, they call me Tim. Um, so we're gonna have, a, you know, we're gonna kind of break format here. Um, this is still gonna be a little bit of a tutorial, um, but yeah, uh, this one is gonna be Lewis shenanigans. Um, kind of even just illustrating when you've got a ridiculous amount of Lua, uh, like I use, um, you can make use of some things, at least, you know, I, in this one instance, there's one module that's going to be kind of handy right now. Um, and it is my auto updater module. Um, basically, that's in my tables. It's a set up to where when it's in release mode, it will attempt to um, access a file that I still control uh, to get data. Basically, it just gets the version number or a version number and a URL. And then checks that version number against the table's version number and sees that if you know if there's been an update posted. Um, and so what I can do with that is point it at a special table um, that's going to have some prompts in it and let people know that if they're being pointed at that file, they need to go and you know like manually download a new update. Um, not real crazy, um, and we'll kind of talk about the code a little bit. Um, I do want to give a, a quick shout out to um, Cheat the Game. I'm not sure if he, I'm pretty sure he uses his name in the videos. It's been a while since I've actually watched one of his, to be honest. I feel bad saying that now. But um, anyway, Cheat the Game and then Cracker Jack is another one. Um, there's been a lot of people, you know, I can't sit here and name everybody, but um, a lot of outpour of support and all that, and a lot of people coming in and just, uh, you know, uploading a bunch of tables, you know, moving their tables here. Um, so I really wanted to say thank you guys for that. Because uh, even I, at the beginning of this, I wasn't sure I was doing the right thing. Um, I was kind of wondering how people would feel about this. But it does seem like a lot of people support this. Um, and they're really gearing towards it. Um, but we're just going to have some fun with uh, Lewis shenanigans. Um, again, uh, technically everything I post here is open source. Um, so once I've posted the tables here... Um, even, you know, I've got to admit, you really can't steal the content, uh, because it, for me, it's under an MIT license. You're free to do whatever the fuck you want with it. But I can screw with you a little bit if I want to, <laughs> you know, uh, just for fun. Um, I did want to point out, I don't know if that person wants their name exposed, so, you know, I'm not going to say their name, but they, somebody did, uh, PM me and let me know, um, uh, Fearless did update their terms, um, basically now, even though they're, you know, made all these claims about protecting table makers and stopping people from stealing work. They have royalty-free access to your work indefinitely. Anything you've ever uploaded here, or they're claiming now they do. Um, of course, the legality of changing the terms of service after you've updated it um, and have been kicked off the site, I would I would assume isn't really very legal. I'm thinking any judge would be like, yeah, they, they can't agree to those terms. You gave them no chance to. They weren't a part of that community anymore. Um, but of course it's, uh, it's not like I'm going to be pursuing fucking legal action over some tables. I honestly, at this point, am more ready to just move on and do some more regular tutorials. Um, but I just wanted to kind of touch on Lewis shenanigans because, you know, why not? I mean, uh, we're going to have a little fun here. Um, so anyway, we've got, you know, here at, uh, Fearless, they've got, you know, where they've changed my name, stripped my avatar, and they're still, you know, they re- reset up my tables um and even this one i probably don't need to do it too but i'm just going to do it to all of them for the shits and giggles because uh, part of what i'm trying to do is i'm i plan on forcing their hand either they're, they are going to have to come here and um, really be the hypocrites that i think they are and directly steal the newest update to bypass this little shenanigan or they're going to have to edit my tables um, and thus strip my signature out of there. And we'll go over the signatures a little bit too. Um, just to, you know, fuck with them, because why not? Um, if you guys want me to go over the actual updater module that this is going to be making use of um, in a different way than I, even I ever thought I would be, we can do that. Um, but again, just, yeah, if you're, if you're uploading here, people can't really steal your content, <laughs> admittedly. Um, but that's the whole idea of, uh, you know, open source. Um, again, there are licenses, though, that you are allowed to cite because they are open source licenses where people cannot redistribute. Um, I, I prefer MIT just because 
I want people to feel free. Um, but there are ones I, I can't think of one specifically. I almost want to say the GNU is one. No, I don't think that's right. Maybe it's the Eclipse or Apache. But anyway, there are ones to where the you know um, I, I in my mind I've always considered them um, code review kind of open source licenses. They make it open source so you know other people you can download you know you can download the repository you can look at the code you can compile it you can use it personally but you are not allowed to redistribute it. I do. So what I've got here is my my older versions of some of these tables. Um, I want to find the regular burnout parallel. I think that one's tucked back here even further. This is an oldie oldie. B. Um, is that still D? Let's see. I scrolled accidentally. <laughs> um, oh, there it is. Okay. Burnout Paradise. Um, so I'm going to point the updater to my uh, updater data files we'll call them i've never really had a name for them to be honest with you oh shit i don't have a link to that normally i have been doing that oh well okay so we've got my burnout paradise data file here the up auto updater data file and you can see it's just a url or a version number and a url um, and this would actually be the url to download that table So not super complicated. It just gets these, you know, this this file, two strings, and then splits them, and you know has that, and then checks the version, sees if it needs to update a new version. If it does, it'll prompt and say, "Hey, there's a new version. Do you want to download that?" Um, and actually, this one being the oldie oldie, I think I I did this one silently, so it doesn't even. Now I think it still prompts, but only for an update. I think it used to prompt to see if you wanted to check, but at any rate. Um, so, how we're going to make use of that. And yeah, you can see this monstrosity of how I used to deal with versions. And oh my god, I'm so glad I switched to just finally using GitHub. Um, And then this, I'm doing this, so that way I can keep it straight and know this is a special one. Um, and deal with it differently. But what we want to do is go ahead and increase that to 4. And just because it really isn't an update, but this way I can give my users this file. And then also see if Fearless, you know... Five, um, you know, be able to tell real easy if they're actually downloading shit directly from the site and not just using their claim to everything on the fucking forum now that, you know, you've uploaded because we want to protect everybody's shit, but fuck you. <laughs> you know? Oh my god. At any rate, I, I don't want to get into the drama, but anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to add, you know, um, Simply just add some special uh, groups, basically, uh, the, the group things here. So we can just put some text in here. Um, so I don't have to do it every one. And if you were unaware, you can do this. Yeah, you can just copy out the XML. I think I've already showed you guys that once before. But yeah, you copy-paste the um, XML code. Um, at any rate, uh, so we've got these stuff. But just to, you know really prompt people and let them know something's going on a little more than just that oh, that's not what I wanted I wanted this we're gonna use this we'll go over what's actually going on with it so um, cheat engine gives you this uh, get settings function here um, and it actually gets registry settings um, I can't think I've actually ever used a path, but I do know you can give it a path, but I think it does have to be um, use like a file separator kind of setup. I don't think you have to start it out with that, though. I really don't remember. It has been way too long. Um, but yeah, you can just 
you know, find that in that Cheat Engine Lua file, and it's, it's a pretty straightforward function to use. Um, yeah, I, I think it just points in the Cheat Engine folder either way, so I think you can just give it any string there. Um, but it is handy, you know, um, A, if you're just going to be lazy like I am right now, and I don't want to, like, store a, a JSON file or something like that. Hell, I could make a file that says, you know, stolen again, but... I'm not really wanting to hassle the person that's actually going to use the table. I just want to inform them and then move on, you know. Um, so what we're doing is we're creating our settings object and then we're going to access this unique setting just so that way, you know, every table will prompt. Um, and then it, you, it always does return strings, so do know that. Because, um, you know, we could actually just pass it number one here and it would return a string in the end. But to me, it's just more clear if I go ahead and set it to a string. Um, but basically we're checking to see if this is equal to one. If it isn't, then we're going to set it to one just so I, I'm not hassling the person. Um, then we're just going to tell them, you know, a message from Tim, the table maker, you know, to, if they want support and updates to please come here uh, to opencheattables.org. Um, and then we do have to tell it it is an information, uh, I can't remember what that MT stands for. I almost swear I knew it at one point, but message box OK to tell we just want an OK button. Um, and I believe ah, it's been too long. I almost want to say you can do an OR kind of thing, or that's not OR. Ah, I'm not going to get into that. We're just going to stick with little shenanigans. Um, but you can always look this function up. It's, it's pretty straightforward. And I usually only use one or two buttons at most. I think it might be comma separated actually um, and then we're going to use this uh, <coughs> shell execute which this is a handy one because you can actually um, open up other programs you know you could launch a game with this because you can give it um, the actual you know say that we could give it the, the game exe and then uh, second parameter could be the folder and then I think the third parameter is um, no, second parameter is uh, arguments. And then third parameter is uh, the folder. And then fourth parameter be um, whether it should show a uh, command prompt when it's running this. But for a URL, we just need to feed it a URL and that's it. And this way I can make it pop open my tape. You know, my... And hopefully they'll at least see the, you know, there's an avatar there, you know, that matches what they're seeing in the table and, you know, kind of tell them something's, you know, there are shenanigans at foot. <laughs> so, yeah, I got that, got that. Um, don't think I could say yet. Now, so we need to increase that. And then this one is ready. Um, and on this way, I can go ahead and sign it. Fucking Windows sometimes, man. Like this, goddammit. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, burnout Paradise. Stolen prompt. Enter my password for my signature here. Uh, we will go over the, Oh, wrong password. Okay. Try that again. There we go. Um, and one thing to note, uh, there are settings in here. Um, we'll go over the, the signature a little more. Um, that do allow you to constantly sign um, every time you save. But every time you uh, open a new table or reopen a table for the first time and then go to save, it will prompt you for a uh, password. Um, I just didn't like that, so I make it to where it's only when I explicitly do it. So when I do that, if I were to hit Control-S now or save, um, it would strip the signature back out of it. 
and that's not what I'm looking to do here. So here we can see now we're going to prompt them, open up the uh, web page here, and then open up the uh, file here. And of course, I'm letting them know, you know, what's going on. Also letting them know they didn't do anything wrong because, you know, they probably have no fucking clue. Uh, they just, you know, came to look for a table and, hey, here's a table. Let me play with that. And, uh, you know, you know, nothing wrong with that. It's... But I just want to screw with them over at Fearless a little bit. <laughs> Maybe even generate some traffic. Um, so anyway, that was kind of it. Now it's signed and, you know, that one's ready to go. And then we can even see that, um, again, I'm not going to hassle them. Um, once they've seen that prompt once, I'm not going to keep reopening it, you know. Um, and that was kind of my idea. I didn't want to actually hassle the user, you know, because, they, again, they're just, it's not their fault, you know, they, they're not part of that of what's going on here um, and then this one is going to be the one that I'm going to end up actually uploading for people at opencheattables.org so all I need to do is increase that number so it's not going to be looking for an update it's going to know that it's already the updated version it keeps going back to the wrong folder today. I swear it doesn't normally do that. Probably fucking Windows somehow. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm you know as much as I use the shit out of Windows, I am such a Linux fan. I kind of like to hate on Windows sometimes, especially when it's acting up. When it's doing great, I fucking love it. <laughs> but when it's giving me shit, it's like fuck you. Okay. Um, and I usually like to reopen them just to make sure I didn't fuck something up. So we're signed. It's ready to go. I am in release mode because toggle mode is already toggled on. So that one's ready for these two. are ready for upload. Um, so what we're going to do here is edit this. I'll go ahead and edit the... And then I do want to tell people here. This file. Use uh, 2.0.3. .3. Oh. Or 2.0.5. Just tell them to go and skip this version because they, you know, this, this isn't meant for you. <laughs> that one and the game version not changing so or at least not the game version that this table was set up for originally so we do that go ahead and place the new one in line and yeah we're ready to submit and I just need to grab this URL um, And then four. Um, and then again, if I, I if I was looking to hassle a user, I could bump this up to five, um, and it would keep downloading four. And every time they open the cheap table, it tell them there is an update. You you want to download it, and it would keep downloading the the lesser version. Um, but of course, like I said, I, I that's not what I'm looking to do here. Um, so I'm not going to point it at five, the actual most up to date table. And part of that thinking is so when they get to this page when it opens up for them they're going to actually see you know that it's version no oh. yeah okay yeah this is fearless close that i'm done with them <laughs> so um when they get here they'll actually see that it is you know there is an updated version and it's not getting pushed to them anymore um they're just getting a, a dummy one and i could strip everything out of that but i you know I'm not looking to punish them, uh, the people looking to use the file or the table. Um, and so that one's done. I mean, like, once I update that updater file, um, if somebody were to open that file, you know, the one, cheat table, the second I save that, 
um, it will point and they're going to get that prompt and it's going to be uh, I say that I, you know I don't know if Google actually caches I don't remember ever testing that but anyway it, when the file gets updated at whatever interval um, pretty sure it is pretty instant but anyway they're gonna you know get brought here get prompted told you know if they want support and updates and all that they need to come here um, you know and that might convince people to come here since they know fearless is stealing shit um, even though and that's what's funny to me um, because right now the way it was before they didn't have those rights they've added those after the fact um, so uh, you know I can honestly still call what they're doing stealing now if they come here and download this file not so much I do have to admit that um, and that's where I'm just gonna be kinda done screwing with them what the shit I'm gonna have to figure that shit out because that is annoying as hell yeah Yeah, it's not, I think it's just because the site's still new. Maybe something with a cert certificate I need to get from somewhere. I'll figure that shit out as we go. Still kind of new to a larger website like this. Um, anyway, that was kind of all I wanted to show. Um, just, you know, having a little fun with Lua. Um, nothing major. <laughs> you know. But we did learn how to, you know, open a, a URL or even an EXE and that kind of thing a little bit in the get settings function. So hopefully you still feel like you learned a little something about this and maybe even got a little bit of a laugh knowing what I'm doing here. Um, anyway, uh, see you in the next one. Did we? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we didn't go over signatures. Okay, so um, some of the benefits of a signature here and. Um, I've actually already reshot this video more than once. I don't remember everything. God damn it. I almost need scripts, but I never stick to them when I've tried it before. Anyway. Um, so, you know, part of my goal is to force their hand. Either they're going to actually have to come and, and, you know, steal content, as they like to say, directly from another site. Um, and upload it to theirs. Or they're going to have to edit all of my files to cancel that updater and when they resave that it will you know it will strip out the signature or they're just gonna have to you know say fuck the bullshit and remove it um and, you know and to some extent i'm kind of thinking they may actually go that route because they may be afraid that i'll just keep doing this over and over again and i might fuck i don't know depends upon how long i'm willing to keep it up um and I can be pretty fucking petty sometimes i mean i, I can absolutely just live and let live and not give a shit and move on um, but sometimes when I really feel like I need to drive home a fucking point, oh god, <laughs> you know, I could be stubborn as fuck. It's, you know, not a good thing, but sometimes in life it can be helpful. Um, anyway, um, so, part of what a signature does as well is, so say they were trying to keep that signature in there. I don't want to actually do that. I'm going to create a copy real quick to show what we're going to do here. Um, say they wanted to, you know, you think you can get around or somebody, I'm thinking they have signatures so they already know how they work. Um, you know, we, we've already seen if I save this, it will strip the signature. Um, I just hit control S or save. Um, if we reopen this file, it's, you know, Cheat Engine will automatically strip out that signature because you have modified it, you know, the idea being it's, you know, somebody else potentially saving it. And it needs to strip out my signature because I wasn't the last one to do it. Um, but say you want to do a quick and dirty edit and you think you're going to get around that. Um, Cheat Engine actually does like a, a hash string for the file. And that's, you know, what this is. So this is actually, you know, a, a hash of our file here, of our cheat file, or cheat table. Um, so that way it can check that and see if something's changed. Um, and then this is actually the public key um, that's getting into encryption and uh, fuck I don't even honestly know enough to explain that properly I, I get the general concept but just know it, it's it's an encrypted kind of thing um, and then I, I do actually think that somewhere in this is the because um, I think it's an encrypted encryption of the uh, 
the text and the uh, photo or the picture. Um, I think that's really all it is. I'm not actually 100% sure. Um, but so again, if we say we wanted to, we thought we were going to be sneaky and bypass that. So we're just going to strip out this auto updater and cancel what this is doing. We save that and then try to open it and cheat in. Like, no, 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 you can't do that shit. Um, you need to remove the signature. Um, and now, and at that point, it will not open until you manually come in here and edit it that way. Um, you would actually have to come down here and actually strip out this signature part before it'll let you open it. Um, so it's not something that will stop people from taking your shit, uh, you know, because of course I'm thinking STN and then would have been using it in that way if they, you know, if it worked that way. But it wasn't ever meant to close things off to other people. Um, that was not how dark, you know, pretty sure I, when I asked him, he explained no, but I, I didn't really get a feel for that was 100% what he was wanting to do. I don't know, I'm not going to comment on that. I can't speak for dark bite, but, but at any rate, it doesn't close people off from um, being able to edit your tables and play around but it just will strip out your signature so that way if they do redistribute it um, at that point they're going to have to you know it won't be a signed file anymore um, so if people are used to your tables they'll know that it's different and then so the next thing we can talk about is how to get a signature in case you guys are interested. So first, I'm gonna say um, know that you have to dark, you have to actually PM Darkbyte on the Cheat Engine forum. Um, so if if you guys are doing it after this video, just know that you, you know there may be others and it may take a little while. And just be patient with the dude because he does a lot of shit. You know? And I imagine he's you know a normal human being and thus has a whole fucking life that he has to deal with and you know, other responsibilities and all that kind of fun shit like, you know, so many of us have and not, you know, really all, I'm sure. <coughs> but to get the signature, you PM Darkbyte on the Cheat Engine forum and you need to give them a picture, the text you want, and then the, the password you want to use. Um, obviously, he gets that, that raw string password, but that's just, he has to keep that signature tool that creates the signature file for you. Um, because otherwise, if you distributed that, then people could mock up whatever fucking signatures they want. It would defeat the whole system. Um, but I'm, I'm willing to bet that, it, you know, I can at least say if it were me, I would take that a little seriously and make sure I delete that shit. Um, and I, I almost swear he told me that don't forget your password because I don't keep it. I, you know, I get rid of it right after this and I won't know what it is, you know. <laughs> so, but at any rate... Um, so you can PM that, that information, um, give him time, and then he will send you back a, uh, a signature file, which will be my signature, um, cheat engine signature, you know, or dot cheat engine signature, so to speak here. Um, you do have to drop it in every cheat engine folder. Um, it's not like you can just put it in a universal place or anything like that, because it will just look here for it. Um, but then when you do have a signature file, you'll get this you know this will be added and then that settings area will you know you get the extra two settings here um not crazy security or anything like that but it just does give you that little added comfort of knowing that if somebody edits your file and does redistribute it, it you know they're gonna have to strip out your signature um so you know people can know that it's not yours um, and I, at this point, just because I, I really never thought I'd be in this position where I was having to deal with this kind of shit, especially from fucking Fearless. But, but at any rate, I would suggest maybe actually putting your actual username in there. Um, you know, I, I went with the Monty Python quote. But, you know, I, I, hopefully the avatar kind of gives it away or the picture there that is my avatar. But, but at any rate... Um, that's kind of all there is to this. Um, yeah, I think that's really all I wanted to cover here. Okay, so yeah, just some Lewis shenanigans, having a little fun. Um, the next one, uh, you know, you guys let me know if you actually want to go over that updater module. Um, I was wanting to carry on with the extensions at this point, and then we'll come back to modules later. 
just because I think I still think customizing cheat engine is kind of the next route we ought to go but you guys let me know what you think um, if I haven't already sh or started shooting videos but I do think the uh, uh, templating stuff we're gonna do as a spin-off so to speak of the, the this current series um, just because I think those are gonna be kind of long in their own little thing um, but I, you know, I can touch on the uh, updater in between and all that kind of stuff if you guys want. And of course, my goddamn internet is so slow; it may take forever before all this gets done. <laughs> you know? So we'll see what happens. But so yeah, let me know what you guys think on uh, what we want for the next video, um, which direction to go. Again, I'm you know, if you just agree with me going with the uh, extensions, and you know, don't worry about it because that that'll be the direction I'm gonna go by default. But. Um, just wanted to give a quick update so um, they did end up finally removing all of my tables um, seems like my method here did end up working and they did end up I did end up forcing their hand um, so nothing major but they're now redirecting people to other tables um, funny enough almost all of them are STNs and locked behind the app I have actually checked a couple of these just to make sure they weren't mine they are the ones i've checked at least um are in fact sdn's tables and not just you know my tables edited or something like that um so i guess on some small level it was a win uh, i did get the outcome i was looking for and was just you know to force their hand and make them do something um to not just be able to re-add my tables and carry on like everything was fine um so, uh, again, Lua shenanigans and just Lua in general can be helpful. Um, I never thought I would have ever used the updater in this way. Um, originally, for me, it was just more about making updates easier for users. So this way, if, you know, like this game is one that has been updated many, many times. Um, even here, my old table was out of date and needed an update. And... Uh, even STN's version, I think, goes way back. I don't know if they oh, I downloaded it. I know they were linking to a post of theirs before. For whatever reason, they changed the username to STN for this table, but it's even out of date or was. I haven't checked this version, but because um, mine is up to date. If anybody's watching this video and uses my table, you should have already gotten an update notice. Um, but yeah, that was the idea, so you didn't have to come back to the forum and constantly check to see if I posted an update yet. It would just, as soon as you open the cheat table, it would tell you if there was an update, and you could just kind of download that and then use that table and not have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, managed to force their hand with this um, and take down all my tables. Funny enough, they ended up deciding to also, because I updated cards on all of my videos, um, to just give links to the uh, forum and then um, also a link to the uh, launch or the open sheet tables launch video I did uh, so they have actually cut their whole thing here in just about half as far as I can tell these are the only three tutorials they left which are pretty generic um, and that wasn't really my intention was to make them get rid of the tutorials but since they were stripping my name and all that anyway, it was kind of a, you know, I'm going to put links in the video so people can know what's going on and, and why somebody may not answer any questions in those tutorials and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, just funny. If they had just banned me, I, you know, I never would have messed with the tutorials. But since they changed the username and went that route, I was kind of like, okay, I'm going to make sure people know who made the video, you know, and where they can find me. Um, but anyway, just a quick update on that. Um, so this will be the end of this video and have a good one.